Now we're on the last application or premises rule, application number five. The first three are dealing with calculating prism. Number four was dealing with decentration. And the last one is will enable us to calculate the power of the lens. If given the prism and the base direction, combine that with the decentration and direction, we should be able to calculate the power of the lens. So, this is Prentice's rule that we've used in applications one, two, and three. And then in four, we used it to calculate decentration and direction. Last application, we're going to determine power. Example number one says, calculate the power of the lens. And when we calculate powers of the lenses, we always calculate the final answer to the nearest quarter of a diopter. So, we're to calculate the power of the lens to the nearest quarter. If you decenter the lens three millimeters out, and when you decenter this lens three millimeters out, you create six prism diopters base direction out. So when you read the question, it's critical and it's important to look at the direction of the decentration. Also, look at the direction of the prism. You can see right away, out is the decentration, out is the prism, then this has to be a plus lens when we get to the final answer, because decentration and base direction are exactly the same on a plus lens. So please remember that. So, applying Prentice's rule, F is equal to prism over C. There's your prism, six prism diopters divided by 0.3 will give you an answer of 20 diopters exactly. This is when the final step you have to place in the sign. Because obviously when you work this out mathematically, there is no sign here. Your key to determine whether the lens is a plus or a minus is based on the direction of the decentration and the direction of the prism. So, simple mathematical answer, application number five, the power for this example is plus 20 diopters.